Thanks for tuning into my channel. Isn't that intro just amazing? Oh my gosh. So Marlene made that for me. And if you want the link to her store, it'll be below with all the products that I used today. And for the headband that I'm wearing, um, it is September's Feather of the Month um, by Belle Blossom. It is absolutely gorgeous and I wear it all the time. It's a headband actually. A little silver headband. Um, which compliments and lays totally flat on my head which is kind of amazing because that never really happens um so i hope you guys enjoy this look stay tuned for pictures and all the fun stuff i do see you guys later as you can see i already primed my eye with two different paint pots and i'm going to go in with my first color from my vanity palette Using that lightest color, we're going to place that all over the brow bone so the darker colors are easily blendable. Going in with my next color and a flat shader brush, a MAC 242, and I'm going to take this dark brown and place it just in the center of my lid. Blending it and pulling it down as I go to get a nice coverage. Next I'm going to take a smudger brush and go in with that black. Filling in the inner corner. Lightly patting this on so we don't get a lot of fallout. And the color stays on the lid. Taking that same brush and color and going on the outer corner, going into that brown, Next off, I'm going to go back to my vanity palette, taking that brown and a MAC 217, and we're going to blend out this line. Going in back and forth between the dark brown and the light brown, I'm going to slowly build this color up and blend it out. Going back with my MAC 242, I'm going to take that dark brown and we're going to go right under the eye and blend it all across that lower lash line using it kind of like a liner. I'm going to now go in with the black and my smudge brush and I'm going to add the black right on top of the brown I just placed to help eliminate fallout make sure we have a kabuki brush going back to my brown in my vanity palette I'm going to take my 217 again going from the outer corner and right under the black and brown I Just going in and going to blend out with a big blending brush.
making sure everything is blended. Okay. I'm going to place some 24-7 liner in zero in my waterline. tight line just on the corners. Place this right under my eyes. After placing glitter, I like to rub my finger back and forth on my lashes to get any excess glitter off of them. Okay, so I lined my waterline again, threw on some false lashes, which I threw on some Forever 21 cheap lashes. Um, this is a little container it comes in. It just says Love and Beauty. They're a little brand. Um, I waterlined my eyes. I need to go over one more time to cover the glue, which I am going to be using the Fabu Liner by Jordana, dollar at Walgreens. And I honestly just winged out my eyeliner using this. It's really easy. Um, it goes on super thick as far as the actual ink in here. It's not translucent like the Ulta one that I've tried. And I threw on some more of the little glitter and I added it all the way with my wing so when you move your eyes it kind of sparkles with it. And as far as my eyebrows I just use my Maybelline Express uh, liner uses forever and um, what you're going to do is you're going to draw your eyebrows out past your eyeshadow. Um, it's more of the 20s look and for the cabaret I'm going to go in for the lips now. Going to be using this red and lining your lips. So I went over the lip liner with my lipstick and um, as you can see it gives a kind of like a shiny matte finish which I love that lipstick for. Um, as far as the cheeks, all I did was contour um, using, let's see, my Physician's Formula Mosaic Magic Palette and contoured my cheeks and then I added for a dramatic look. I added my Desert Rose by MAC blush. Um, just use it right above on the temple, all the way up to the temples. See better on the side. The temples down into my apples and my cheeks. When you're on stage, the brighter the makeup, the more you can see it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, as you can see, I absolutely love it. I hope you love it as much as I do. Thank you for staying tuned. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!